Hello everyone, today we are going to do a sculpting anti-aging massage. Since this massage is quite deep, it should be performed no more than twice a week. But of course, it all depends on the duration of the massage. Please use sufficient amount of oil or cream and don't forget to like this video so I know that my videos are useful for you. Step 1. Use the knuckles to make upward motions from the top to the bottom. Note that we start from the mandibular bone and stop near the clavicles. And then apply slight pressure to the supraclavicular lymph nodes. Make sure the skin is well moisturized and sure comfortable glide. Step 2. Use the back of the hand and work on the double chin area and sublingual area. Make petting motion. This is a good prevention to sagging jaws and double chin. Step 3. Make deep motions on the submandibular area. Motions should be deep. In this way we get rid of double chin. Step 4. Move along the mandibular bone. The motions are deep as always, as it's a sculpting massage. We also form the face oval and reduce the sagging jaws. Step 5. In this case, we work only with the thumb. Try to move directly under the lower jaw. In this way, we stretch and relax the platysma, which by shrinking pulls the lower part of the face down, forming the sagging jaws. We need to relax this muscle. Make sure that you have enough glide.
Step 6. We make such construction and perform rotations. We try to move the muscles of the bone. In this way we relax the chin, get rid of swelling and remove tension. When our chin is in constant tension, it has a bad effect on the whole lower part of the face and causes age-related changes. Step 7. Try to grasp the fold. Knead it well and stretch it. Try not to tense your fingers. The more you tense your fingers, the harder it's to grip the fold. Step 8. Now move from the center to the periphery. This is a good lifting technique. and gradually move upwards. Do this until you feel all your muscles warm up. Step 9. With knuckles, move under the zygomatic bone. Start from the wings of the nose and go to the tragus. Step 10. Make deep kneading motions on the lateral nasal muscle. If you feel that the pressure is not enough, use your knuckles.
Our muscles are usually tense here and contribute to the formation of nasolabial folds. Step 11. Fix your thumbs on the temples and move along the zygomatic bone. Don't go over the eyeballs and make sure that the skin under the eyes is well moisturized. Step 12. Move from the bridge of the nose to the temples along the superciliary arch. You can perform the step with two hands or in this way. And finally, let's work with the forehead. With the knuckles, we make deep motions from bottom to top. In this way, we warm up and relax the frontal belly of occipital muscle. After this massage, you should feel all your muscles warmed up and get hyperemia.